Pet owners from the Attleboro area came out last weekend to support a furry cause. The Friends of the Attleboro Animal Shelter held their 11th annual furball fundraiser last Saturday to raise funds for the Attleboro Animal Shelter. The event featured a spaghetti dinner, raffles, music and more. To learn more about the event, we spoke with organizer Kim Penque. Hi everybody and welcome to the 11th annual Friends of Attleboro Animal Shelter's Furball, which is hosted and sponsored by the Moose Lodge here on Thatcher Street. Each year we do this, it is a spaghetti dinner, all provided by our friends at the Moose, and we help raise funds for the animals at the Attleboro Animal Shelter. So we have about 130 people that come and join us each year, enjoy some dinner, music, raffles, and fun. And this is one of our events here that we also provide volunteers with recognition awards for all the work that gets done all year long. We also try and recognize the animal control officers in the city of Attleboro and what goes on behind the scenes at the animal shelter. I'm here at the uh, Friends of the Attleboro Animal Shelter fundraiser. It's a really great opportunity to help raise money for the new animal shelter that's going to be built. Um, I've actually consulted and worked with the Friends of the Arbor Animal Shelter on numerous occasions, particularly with homelessness issues, because a lot of times when uh, families or individuals become homeless, oftentimes their pets are not allowed to go to the places that they're you know, moved to when they're looking for a place to stay. So Friends of Adelaide Animal Shelter has been you know, extremely important, very helpful in helping out you know, those little furry members of the family, you know, whether it's a cat or a dog. And, you know, it's pretty much been almost exclusively dogs, but you know, they'll be there for anybody. So yeah, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, glad to be a supporter. I want to thank everybody, mostly Steve Denley, that invited me here tonight. And I'm glad that he let me come. I came late. But what I, the reason that I came is because although I don't have pets of my own, I'm afraid of dogs and I'm allergic to cats, but what I do know is that I love how people love their animals and care for them. And I have a son that actually um, bought or got a dog from a pound, and he was horrified at the Attleboro Pound and the way that it was, uh, was for people and how the animals had to live. So for me, Knowing that we, ha we have an Attleboro animal shelter that is so um, far behind the times and that we need to care for animals in a way that they are comfortable as well. And so I'm here tonight supporting FAS and doing what I can do by giving them a donation and um, helping them get to the place that they want to be. So the 11th Annual Furball is a great example of one of our many fundraising events that we hold each year. Uh, fundraising is critical to the animals of the Attleboro Animal Shelter. Uh, it helps provide for basic care uh, for our cats on the cat side as well as for um, extra necessities on the dog side as well. And so a lot happens behind the scenes to make each one of these events happen. And whether that's reaching out to different vendors, um, to solicit donations um, from one of the many wonderful raffle prizes that we have, um, working with our sponsors such as the Moose um, that put on these great events for us. Uh, we're constantly looking for volunteers to get involved in the organization to help with events like this, to help with adoption events, to help raise awareness for all of the um, great work that we do. And so that's a, a pretty critical component to the different fundraising committee aspects of the Animal Shelter. Um, we also have many other fundraisers each year, so you can stay um, in touch with us on our Facebook page which is Attleboro Pets or visit us online at faaspets.org. Our next event I believe will be our pet walk which is will be the 11th annual pet walk as well and that is held sometime in June. The date will be set shortly after this and then we also have some in between fundraisers like casino trips and things of that nature and bowling events. We have to raise funds all year long to provide for the cats solely for the cats and then we offset the city's budget with providing care food, training, and nurturing for the dogs that reside at the animal shelter as well. And we also do a lot within our community. We have brought on a lot of community programs such as food, low cost, different veterinary programs to really reach out. The animal shelter is a lot different today than it was years ago. We also are getting ready to be kicking off our new animal shelter and we're looking forward to that. We're hoping the shovel will be in the ground May 1st. We have a public hearing at City Hall on Tuesday, April 15th at 7 p.m and we are continuing to move full force ahead with that with a lot of support from everybody in the city. The Attleboro Animal Shelter is open for adoption hours on Wednesdays from 6 to 8 p.m., Saturdays from 11 to 3, and Sundays from 11 to 1. So stop on by, uh, meet some of the great animals that we have available for adoption, and love is adoptable.